Okay, in this one we'll use a mask to create a text reveal. Okay, once we've got our footage imported in, select the text tool, type out your text. With the select the selection arrow, position the text. We want to position the text so as the player you know, runs across the the scene, uh, the text is kind of running across the text and revealing it. Okay, we're going to be drawing a mask around the player. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in on the area that you know the on, on him. Um, select the hand tool here. I can just position the the footage so I've got a good view of him and the text okay if we then go up to effect controls so with with the graphic layer selected go back to select the selection tool just ensure the text clip is the same matches the length of the video clip if we go to effect controls if I go to the opacity layer here uh, select opacity at the top here select the pen tool and then I'm ready to start drawing the mask around the player the key bit really is the right hand side so again I'm going to do this fairly roughly you can always adjust your lines once you've drawn them by um, manipulating the anchor points okay so that right hand side is the key part that's going to be kind of coming into contact with the text uh, this other side basically the left hand side needs to mask out the entire rest of the text all right so that's our basic mask okay once you've drawn that out if you click the inverted box tick the inverted box you'll see then the mask um, is inverted and we mask out the text right we're now going to animate this mask path um, so just go back to the effect control, select max, mask path, click on the timer next to it to insert the first keyframe. So really it's then a question of just tracking the motion of the player. So you can see here if I move the playhead to the point where he's moved almost beyond the text there. I can move the, the mask path along. It will auto insert keyframes as you do this. You don't have to worry about inserting a keyframe each time. Okay. Now you see there's a, a bit, quite a bit fine tuning of the mask to do here. So once you've got your basic key frames of the the animation set up, you can then go in and start to manipulate the uh, these anchor points and to refine the mask with the mask path selected again. So you can see the mask. Uh, you can go in. And you can select anchor points and manipulate them just to fine tune the mask. You know, if you want to modify the text, you can go into the again in effect controls, expand the text uh, sub layer here. Just adding a very subtle shadow to lift it off the off a bit and uh, opacity. Adjusted the opacity a bit. Mask path layer. Uh, if I click on inverted here, what we can do is the opposite effect, where as the player runs across the text, it, the text disappears. Um, so again, that would be a question of fine tuning the mask create that effect where you'd be kind of masking off the this front edge of the player rather than the to the left edge rather than the right edge. Okay so that's the text reveal.